the people on this call and watching this video may not know what defines a security. And there's been a lot of talk about the Ripple case with the SEC uh, and sort of, you know, how that may impact how the rest of the crypto market is, is seen. So what I wanted to effectively uh, say um, is the term security, uh, it's been around for a long time and there was a um, a test that is a four prong test, it said here, the Howey test, which again has been around for about 70 years. So this is why people are suggesting that, you know, it even needs updating or it just doesn't doesn't fit with, with cryptocurrencies. But there is a, a long standard uh, case which has established how you can determine whether something is a security and if it is a security it needs to be um, regulated by the SEC so the four tests are there is an investment of money there is uh, an investment that is made into a common enterprise uh, the investors expect uh, the profit from their investment and any expected profits or returns are due to the actions of a third party or promoter. Now, I think you could actually argue off the face of all of those that that generally would cover a lot of cryptocurrencies. You know, we have to invest money uh, on, on the projects. As a common enterprise, we're all, we're all trying to get a common goal uh, within that. And it's what, whatever that particular platform or that, that token or project necessarily is. We do expect to make a profit on our investment. And generally, as investors, we actually don't do any of the work. Uh, and so that's the argument that the, the SEC has um, about that. Um, but we've been hearing for years that um, you know, cryptocurrencies are, shouldn't be classed as securities. Um, kind of gone over that. We talked about the Howey test here. Um, scroll down, so I must have just scrolled up. Uh, not what someone wants to be. And they're done. So are they or are they not generally? Well, at the moment, they are not. Um, they're not regarded as securities. As I say, the SEC has uh, launched a case against Ripple. It has done for for some time, and we are expecting some form of outcome of that in 2023, whether or not it happens. Uh, but the nature and use of many cryptocurrencies overlap the SEC securities definitions, and therefore many cryptocurrencies issued like stocks and the way they generated funds for new projects is similar to initial public offering. So whenever a stock launches, we have an IPO uh, to raise funds. Uh, and the argument from the SEC side, and you know, kind of hard maybe not to argue with it, is back in 2017, 2018, even 2019, there's a thing called the ICO, which was the initial coin offering. And it was exactly the same principle um, as, as what an ICO is. And so if the SEC can prove uh, that ICOs and therefore cryptocurrencies that were invested in via that mechanism uh, meet the Howey test, then, then yeah, they may be deemed as securities. And then, as I say, we, we could see a, a very shift realigning of, of the market and, and what's valued within that. Um, there have been some cases. Uh, there was one recently called Library, which was like a decentralized version of YouTube. Um, so that was in the, it was in Texas. I can't remember where exactly, but that was deemed as a security, uh, which was seen as a bit of a blow for Ripple's case. Um, and, and again, they applied the Howey test to that, and it was deemed that it met all of those criteria. So it's a much smaller case uh, than than the SEC uh, Ripple one, which I don't know where that one's based out of, but. Uh, it was at least a first victory uh, for the SEC. We did cover it on a venture call back over the summer, whenever it happened. But yeah, so that's where we are with um, securities. And that's kind of where I got to with, with DCG. Again, it's a really good video uh, by Coin Bureau. I'll link it in the um, in Discord when I, when I post the video out there, but well worth a view. It goes into it in a bit more detail um, and a few more fancy graphics than, than I've used. Um, but hopefully you at least get a picture. And, and if nothing else, I just you know want to re-emphasize that whilst we're here battling on whether or not to buy our one BTC at, at 20,000, there are companies just playing around with billions, uh, just trying to make themselves whatever funds and money that they want. So we really are um, at the bottom of this game. Um, and you know we're at the mercy of however this comes out. If this this turns out to blow over and it's nothing at all, it was just a bit of fud that doesn't materialize, 
hey, great, we've got a great platform to take off. But if somehow this gets nuked, Gen- um, Genesis goes under and by default, Grayscale potentially um, and DCG, then, you know, this bear market, the price of Bitcoin, it's going to fall. It's going to last a hell of a lot longer. And, you know, that that uh, confidence that is slowly coming back into the market is just going to be rattled again. <laughs>